Don't forget to change into your tights. I won't, Mom. And don't forget to call us when you're done. I won't, Mom. So have a good time at your dance tryout. I won't, Mom. I mean, I will, Mom. And one, and two, and leap, and twirl, and three, and four, and leap, and twirl! My statue! Um, sorry, Mom. It's all right, Wayne. All great dancers get the occasional jitters. It's not that, Mom. I keep telling you, I'm no good at set dances. I like to improvise. Bah! You'll never be a star that way. You must learn two things, to dance and to crush your competition. If you want something badly enough, you have to do what it takes to get it. Take my pretty little statue, for instance. To get this, I not only had to be good, I had to be merciless. All righty, that's enough practice for today. I have another little girl to audition for the school. Go in and change, little girl. I'll be with you in a minute. But don't worry, Wayne. No matter how good this new girl is, you'll always be the star of our show. Sure, Mom. Oh! Very well. Let's begin. My radar tells me all. Yum, yum! Bees! I call it my interpretive bat dance. What do you think? I think you may have better luck at a modern dance school. Does that mean I don't have to take ballet? Yippee! I... I, I mean... Oh, darn. My mom will be so disappointed. Hey, Mona! What are you doing here? Mom tried to sign me up for ballet. She thought that since you like dancing so much, maybe I would too. You? But you can't stand ballet. Try convincing my mother. Take your place, Dottie. Let's see if you remember the choreography. She doesn't like me. And begin! a bit. Hey, how did this rag get on the floor? It'll be all right in a while, but I'll miss my rehearsal time again. Again? Poor Dottie. Two weeks ago, that mirror broke and you couldn't rehearse. Then we had the fire alarm. Now this! How will you ever learn my wonderful choreography in time for the show? I don't know. It's like there's a hex on me or something. A hex? <laughs> would put a hex on such a talented dancer! <laughs> hmm... That Madame Sosa put a hex on my cousin Dottie. We have to help her. But how? Dottie's on her way over. We can fill her in on my theory and take it from there. She's here! I'm sorry Mona won't be able to join Madame Sosa's dance academy. Well, between you and me, I don't think Mona was exactly devastated. Hi, Aunt Dolores. Hey, Dottie. Why don't you come upstairs with us while our moms talk mom stuff? So that's the whole story. It's like the closer we get to the dance recital, the harder it is for me to practice. All Madame Sosa seems worried about is that her son Wayne does well. She doesn't seem to care about me at all. Oh, she cares about you all right, Dottie. Enough to hex you. Hex me? It's obvious. Madame Sosa's afraid that if you dance well at the recital, you'll make her son look bad. Gee, Mona, do you know how to fix a hex? Naturally. To begin with, let's see if I can detect anything with my hex ray specs. They should give me a good sense of the kind of hex field surrounding your aura. Funny, I don't detect any hex field around you. Time to go. Oh, darn, not already. Sorry, guys. We're really looking forward to Dottie's dance recital. She's so talented. And she just loves to dance. But lately, she's had a run of bad luck. Do you see anything, Mona? No. 
Darn, I think these glasses are on the fritz again. I'm sure she'll do just great. She's a natural. That did it. Hold on, everyone. It was nice. Hex field activity again. starting Thanks up. For <laughs> Goodbye. Come on, dear. We don't want to be late. <laughs> Sorry, Dottie's just nervous right now. I hope she gets over it soon. Her show is on Saturday. We've got work to do. All right, let's start with an equipment check. Does everyone have their hex ray specs? Check. Hex powder. Check. <laughs> All right, outfit. Check. We are ready for action. Ooh, there is a very strong hex field surrounding this house. Well, isn't this a nice surprise? Goodness, isn't it strange how the sprinklers started up like that? Can I get you kids some dry clothes? Actually, we brought some along. Let me introduce my colleagues. Princess Giant and Zapman. And I'm Mona the Vampire, at your service. Thanks for coming, guys. But it's a little late. I perform tonight. Don't worry, Dottie. I work well under pressure. We'll remove the hex, and you'll have one less thing to worry about. <laughs> Look out! It's back! Look out for what? What's back? That swan! It's a fiend sent from Madame Sosa! It's after you! Whoa! Sure, but I have my suspicions. Dottie, do you think you can get us into the studio before the show? Sure, it's performance night. Everyone there will be in their costumes. You'll all fit right in. See what I mean? concentrated in that black swan statue. So, you must be the new dancers Harold sent over for the tree dance. Nice outfits. Well, come on, no time to lose. I have a new choreography to teach you. Now you will be the strong tree that the princess dances around. All you have to do is saute in place. So what? What place? Saute means jump, dear. My goodness, what is Harold teaching you at his school? And you must chasse around him four times before the next combination begins. Try! No, no! Who taught you to saute? And that chasse? You look like a nervous spider. Start again! <laughs> Charlie, grab the statue! Ah, so that's it! Ha! Not so fast! Try this out for hex power! I return all hex and bad luck to you! Huh? Ow! Watch out, Mona! <laughs> well, the hex has been lifted. You are all finished, Swanee. Mom, my dad's partner, Eileen, she just twisted her ankle. What? Of all the rotten luck, now my baby will have to cancel his performance. And after all his hard work. Well, there is one other possibility. I could dance with Dottie. Nonsense. You haven't practiced together. We'll improvise. Why not? I never learned the dance I'm supposed to be doing. 
You can't be serious, dear. She'll outshine you terribly. Actually, Mom, I think she'll make me look great. Thanks, Dottie. You really made me look good. You made yourself look good, Wayne. For a change, you weren't worrying about choreography. You were just dancing. Make room for the choreographer! But, Mom, you didn't choreograph any of this. We made it up. Mere technicality. Now kindly allow me to accept my adulation. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Started. Lawrence, would you like to begin by presenting your pet? I'd like to present my pet, my new stick insect. Uh, that's wonderful, Lawrence. Is it always this still? He's shy. Stick insect? Maybe you should just forget the insect part. Thank you, George. That's enough. It's a very nice stick. Uh, thing, Lawrence. Okay, uh, who wants to go next? And voila! My new parrot and my new real gold-plated cage. Why, that's just beautiful, Angela. Where did you get him? It was the weirdest thing. I got out of bed today and he was just walking around my yard. So my parents got me the best cage to put him in. I mean, the most expensive. Well, he's beautiful. Can he talk? I don't know. <coughs> it's a stupid parrot. Can't even talk. Georgie Pargy Button Pie throws a stick and tells a lie. Uh. Stupid parrot. I brought my pet too. Fang, the world's spookiest cat. Yes, thank you very much, Mona. I think we're familiar with Fang. Wow! Fat cats trap rats! Wow. I can't believe he said that. Wow. He's not fat. That parrot's neat. It's almost like he's human or something. Well, Lily, a few centuries back, many might have believed so. Long ago, people believed in shapeshifters, humans who could change into animal form. <laughs> Scottish tales tell of creatures who were seals when they swam in the sea. And people when they walked on land. Witches, wizards, and other spellcasters were said to be shapeshifters as well, possessing the ability to assume animal form. Since these spell users were so secretive, there was no telling who possessed these awesome powers. Wow! <laughs> Whoa! All that changing stuff is nothing special. I've got a cheerleader doll at home that changes. Really? What does it change into? She changes her own clothes, duh! Yeah, princess! Princess? I'd rather be a princess than a stupid ah, bat! My turtle! He's run away! Hey, a turtle that runs! I want one! Ah, turtles don't run! They lie in the sun! Hey, the parrot's right. Here's your turtle, Lily. How did he do that? There's definitely something weird about that bird. I've got the feeling he's not really a bird at all. <gasps> you mean... 
Yep, he's a shapeshifter. Yes? Hi, Angela. What do you want? Well, to tell you the truth, I was hoping you could show me that doll you told me about today. The one that changes? It sounds really interesting. I'd never be able to afford one, I bet. So I thought I'd just come by to admire yours. Really? Okay, wait here. I'll come down with a whole bunch of stuff you can admire. Okay, Polly, drop the act. What's your story? Look, I know what's going on. You're a shapeshifter. The question is, why are you letting Angela keep you locked up in that cage? Is it because you can't change back to human form? Okay, okay! My name is Percival. I've been stuck in this parrot form for hundreds of years. What happened? I was a sorcerer's apprentice to Madervil the Magnificent, the greatest spellcaster of his day. Until the day Madervil left home without his wand, it also happened to be the day Madervil's greatest foe, Ferlic the Conjurer, dropped by looking to challenge him to a duel. And since Madervil wasn't around, he decided to duel me instead. Unfortunately, it was my first duel and I was kind of nervous. I dropped the wand. Then I picked it up and dropped it in the nearby forest. I looked everywhere but couldn't find it. Soon after, I was caught by a rare bird collector. I was passed from hand to hand for hundreds of years. Until eventually, I escaped. It's taken me a while, but I'm back! Back? You mean this is the place where it all happened? That's right. There was a forest here back then. Now they've gone and built a town on top of it and the wand. I'll never get that wand back now. <laughs> Don't worry, Percival. I have some friends who can help. We'll get your wand back. Trust me. What are you doing here? I told you to wait outside. Well, anyhow, here's the doll. I bet you wish you had one. Eh, uh, yeah, sure. Well, gotta go. Percival lost his wand around here somewhere, and I promised him we'd help him find it. It's the only way he can turn back to his human form. Hi, Lawrence. Great stick, Lawrence. I guess it really was nothing but a plain old stick. Some pet, huh? Hey! Whoa! It was a stick insect all along. Hmm. Aha! Aha what? I bet the reason Percival never found his wand in the first place was because he shouldn't have been looking for a wand at all. <laughs> to make sure he never found it, I bet Furlick the Conjurer changed it into an ordinary stick so it would be harder to find. So now we have to find a magic stick? Where would we find one of those? Ye old woodshop. Where else would it be? There it is. Hi, Mr. Storkson. Is that for sale? What would you want with this old thing? It's nothing but an old walking stick I found in the cellar ages ago. Actually, we have reason to believe it's a magic wand. You don't say. And it would really mean a lot to the magician who lost it if he could have it back. Well, in that case, consider it a gift from me to you. And the magician, of course. Thanks, Mr. Storkson. Oh, Princess, could you go pick up a few things for me? But I wanted to spend time with my parrot. You can spend time with him after you run this errand, dear. Okay, let's go. Charlie, make sure her mom stays in the house. Lily, come with me. You're back! Yep, and I got your wand. It doesn't look like my wand. 
It's been shape-shifted, but it's definitely my one. Quack! Let me out of this cage! Now, there's a spell you need to do. You have to run round me three times backwards and say the words backwards. What words? Bird, bird, undo bird, shape the man again. Then tap me with the wand, gently. Okay, here goes. Drib, drib, odd new drib, Ahab's et nan miaga. Oh. Gently, I said. We did it! What's the matter, Percival? I thought you'd be happy. I am happy to be free, but it's just that I'll miss Angela. She took such good care of me. Well, we can say goodbye for you if you like. No, that won't be necessary. Just because I won't be her parrot anymore doesn't mean I can't be her friend. I never thought I'd say this, but... Poor Angela. Yeah, she's been moping around all week. She really misses that parrot. Maybe we should tell her what really happened. No, she'd never believe us. Poor, poor Angela. Hey, everyone. I want you to meet my new best friend. Percy just transferred in from out of town. Percy? Princess! Come on, Percy. My mom's making us fudge brownies. Is it Percy short for Percival? He doesn't look like Percival. Of course not. He's a shapeshifter, remember? Right. <laughs> 